Hi guys, my name is Miller and welcome back to a new video. Today I will talk a little bit more about the cards for this season and also about the coming 1.23 update which includes Halloween events and much more. I haven't received a milestone card of this season as of yet so I can only refer to screenshots of other people for the current performances of the coming cars. Hopefully by tomorrow I can upload a video with actual runs of these cars and my first thoughts. But first, closing off the 59th season and claiming great looking Verde El Cheo SVJ. Small point here, I know it's written as El Cheo here but looking on the official side it's mentioned as El Cheo, a smile bug that needs to be changed in the future. In my previous video I've proven it's a car that can go 7.55 and even faster as I'm by no means a pro tuner or a shifter. I'll bet some guys at the top will crack the 7.4 easy but it's not as fast as Harkness says to Elemento that you can win for free so it's not the fastest Lamborghini. And by the SVJ leaderboards that were expected like the 488 Pista, it wasn't added to the update as the Pista crates and board were just a test. Now they're looking at the numbers to see if they will implement it again in the future. I do hope they do so as it was a nice way to get parts for milestone cars. Downside, the steep price of 700 bronze keys again. They increase the cost of things and they add things to buy but they don't increase rewards to get to them so in my opinion that should get a small fix as well. Season ended and we are ready into season 60. This season the prize car is one that looks very similar to one we already have in game but it's a modified version of it. I'm talking about the Vorsteiner 720S. For many this will look again like a reskin but for me it looks like a big aggressive brother. The season price has an awesome livery with the Polaris blue but for the most people who will be going for the milestone it's gonna be the Azores Special aka Orange Vorsteiner. The McLaren is set to run 7.73 and a half a mile for the gold star but this is just a dyno time. Whether it's gonna be able to beat the dyno time as easy as the SVJ I will have to test it tomorrow and try to upload the results as well. The best feature of this car is the fact that it shares stage 6 parts with the normal counterpart the 720S. So for some who don't have the regular one you, and you got some stage 6 parts left, you can hug this beauty up. Prestige car, third time's a charm right? The Ferrari 599 GTO. First time it got replaced by the BAC Mono and last season by the Liberty World GTR but this season it can't escape. The Ferrari 599 GTO 10 times drop rate will finally start tomorrow morning. Surprising for many, this car has been in game for such a long time and it has never been a prestige cup car. Small fun fact by the way, they, when they implemented the milestone car system back in the days on the switch of season 12 to season 13, for some it glitched out and they actually got the 599 GTO after hitting 20 million with the crew, making it for some the first ever milestone car. In theory the first true milestone car was the Ferrari FXXK in season 13. In all honesty this car isn't fast at all, its record is set on a 9.570 making it the 95th fastest tier 5 car in the list which is mad. I suggest to just upgrade the car as much as you need and then just store it away. If you need parts you can always buy an F12 but those would be some damn expensive parts. Ok now cups, so today started the 4th and final Porsche for the 70th Porsche anniversary prior to the finale coming in the next update but more information about that later. The iconic Porsche 959, but not a regular one, one modified by Kanepa to a real monster known as 959SC which is claimed to be faster than 918. In terms of livery it looks kind of dull to me, but the car is just an icon in general. Fastest tune of it I can find so far is a 7.975, but for all the other 3 Porsches we've had so far, they were all able to go on the dyno really easy, so I don't know really. I bought the car so hopefully I can soon dedicate a full video to it. In terms of other cups, the only one that we might expect this season is an Evo Cup for the Koenigsegg Regera, which will include a Golden Cup, also known as Legendary Cup as usual, and alongside that an Evolution Cup which will only be for the Dahards players with a final prize the Koenigsegg Regera Ghost Package. This will be a 5 star purple star car expected to run an 8.490 which isn't fast really and I even think the slowest ever to win Evo Cup car but I think it might get a buff in the future. It deserves one as a, so it can run with the big boys in 7.5 7.7 with the LaFerrari, the 918 Spider, the P1 etc. It just belongs there. I also noticed they have added a new Regera variant to the game being the Regera d'Elegance. This is a complete new livery that was also released next to the Ghost package and I bet it will be very unique in game as well so I hope I can hunt one down. To do so I will get some assistance of a 20 times drop rate on a gold crate that will start together with a cup. Exact date isn't fully known yet, so far I've heard October 12th, 
but that would leave the Celine and Swan season completely eventless, so I'm not fully convinced about that. No matter what, hold on to the gold keys and the bronze keys, as you will need them if you want this one shift beauty. We're halfway through the video guys, so hang on with me. Now 1.23 update talks. So yesterday, out of the blue, Caesar have released a new blog post on their official blog, which brings some information about the coming update, which means again, initial release for some Android testers will start soon. What surprises me is that they're releasing it very soon compared to previous updates. Normally we get to see an update one week prior to the end of the third and final season press card of the running update, like for example the 1.22 on the Pista season, so normally it should have been during the next one, the Celine one, but they're very early with this information. The blog isn't really clear about all the cars and doesn't have any pictures, well it has some pictures but not pictures of the cars we're really interested in, but it does include some information about the Porsche finale, some season cars, prestige cars and some special event cars as well. First off, some of the finale and the event cars coming up. The first thing mentioned is the Porsche finale, where you will be able to win a 918 Spider with the Martini livery like shown here. For us now it's still covered in the showrooms, but underneath it is hidden a 918 with the Martini racing livery. For the finale you will have to bring forward the four pillars of the car world, represented by Mark Webber as the racer with the GT2 RS, Akira Nakai as a tuner with the Rotana, Magnus Walker as a collector with the Urban Outlaw 911, and as last one the fan, Bruce Canepa with a 959SC. After using the four cars in a series of races, with rewards, the 918 will be your car as a final reward. This car is expected to run the 7.5, so not bad after all. In the update notes, it also shows a Cayman GT4 with a special livery for the 70th anniversary, which I find odd as the finale mentions only needing four cars, and this car being a car we already have in game, so I don't think it will be linked to the finale but I don't expect the Golden Cup either, it's only tier 3, so I have no clue what Natural Motion is up to. Another event is a Halloween one. Like last year, we will get a special event, but instead of just a trick or treat cup for this holiday, we will get a 60 race event, with the final reward being a special car. The Mercedes AMG GTR in matte green, also known as the Beast of the Green Hell, which fits in perfectly to the Halloween theme. I expect it to be a 3 day cup again, like we had with the Made in America event, where you will have to use a couple of different cars. Which ones exactly? I have no idea as of now, but I'm definitely excited. And I love that green Merc. To stay in the Halloween theme, they have added also two cars as season prizes, the Dodge Demon and the Hennessy Exorcist, which still stick to the theme, funnily. For many again, these cars will be seen as reskins. For me, I just hope I can run them online against each other to see which drag spec car is the faster one, and if the Hennessy can actually exorcise the Demon. The final and third expected season car is another one, Camaro but it's a classic one this time around. It's a modified 1968 Camaro, again, like I said earlier, modified by Quentin Brothers. The only two colors I can find upon googling this car are this blue one and a grey blackish render variant of this car, so I guess these will be the season in the milestone colors. In terms of Golden Cups or Evo Cups, they have already mentioned two to be expected in the update, the Koenigsegg Aguero RS and the Phoenix Supersport. Whether one will be an EVO Cup or not, I also have no idea and it will just be a matter of time until we know more about this. Best thing is, if you have Nagara RSP you still need parts, save up the bronze keys as you can maybe turn this car into a perfect 7.5 seconds car. I will be saving my bronze keys definitely for the Fiener as I still lack a lot of fusion parts to make it fast enough. On to the prestige cars. They have announced three in the update notes, which one is new one, one is semi new and one you already have in game. The one we already have in game is the Honda NSX Liberty Walk, which ironically I called out in my last video, and of which I already have this sexy purple star variant. <coughs> sure. And also, good thing about this car, it's it can beat Tempest 3 tier 4, which is what exactly what we need for many people. I expect Loki to see many colors added with stickers and also new rims, so rest in peace my key stash again. The second car is a local motors rally fighter. This is a car that we had to use in the first series of the Fate and the Furies in T3 driven by Letty. It's not a fast car but something unique and many don't have this car at all. The final new one is actually not 100% new but it's one most likely to be a tier 2 car as well, being the Volkswagen Golf GTI Rocket Bunny. So far we have only seen Ruby Rose drive a slightly modified Golf, so I believe it's gonna be that car, maybe with just some extra decals on it. It doesn't look too bad and for many it's time to breathe and save some cash as T2 cars don't cost much to upgrade. 
The only car I haven't mentioned yet, and is also expected to be in the update, is one that I expect to be a flash event car, which is the AMC Ring Brother Preston Javelin Defiance. That's a mouthful, I know. After googling a little bit about this car, I was really surprised. It looks like a damn mean machine, and I'm really a sucker for early 1970 cars. I expect it to be a flash car due to it being a new manufacturer, and I low-key hope it's gonna beat the GTX, or at least come very close to it. So that's all for it today, I guess, on this season video. As mentioned, I will try to get a video up tomorrow with the run with the Ghost Package Rogera and also the Vorsch 920 as the milestone variant, and I will give some thoughts about the cars as well. But for that, I'm waiting for a little bit of help. I will close off the video here. For this season, I have some ideas to bring some extra videos and maybe an extra stream for the good cause as well. So if you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to hit that button below. Like the video if you enjoyed it and if it cleared up some things and helped you out. Anyways, my name is Miller, see you around, have a good season and keep racing.